Breaking news, firefighters, police, and national grid on the scene of a gas leak. And that is the sound of the leak itself. Eyewitnesses we spoke with telling us it sounded like a jet engine roaring. Now officials confirm the leak is at the National Grid Compressor Station and it has caused a traffic mess downtown. This is a live look right now, 195, closed in both directions, as are several side streets in the Point Street, Allens Avenue area. And we have team coverage right now of this breaking news. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live with a look at that traffic mess right now. But let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan first for the latest from the scene. Kelly. Well, Shannon and Mike, we just got an update from officials. As you mentioned, too, if you can hear it in my live shot, that is the noise of that natural gas leak. Now, it's a national grid line. It was underground. It ruptured, and that is the sound of the natural gas being forced out into the air. It's a high-pressure line. So right now, we are told national grid crews are on the scene, and the president is even here. They're trying to fix the problem. But here's what we know so far from officials. Around 8 o'clock this evening, police got a call about a high-pressure gas leak underground. Allen's Ave and 195 were shut down and traffic was directed away from the area. National Grid has a team here working to identify exactly where the leak is and to shut the valves off. Now, right now, no explosion, no injuries. Everything is under control, according to officials, but they are taking extra precaution to make sure everyone stays safe. It's highly explosive, so we don't want that to be ignited as that gas dissipates into the air, everything's safe. So we got to keep any ignition source away from this leak. We shut down the area over by the hospital, excuse me, by Eddy Street, because right? we have to shut down any traffic coming from Eddy Street towards Allen's Avenue down this way. All right, and so we are told the leak is happening somewhere on Allen's Avenue. National Grid has some sort of building underneath 195 in that area. So right now, officials say they're not sure what caused that rupture. They are asking people to just stay away from this uh, area. They're diverting traffic away. And of course, right now, it's unclear how long it will take to fix this problem. So in the meantime, they are asking people to just stay away. But for now, we will stay on scene and continue to give you updates as this story continues to develop. Mike Shannon, back to you. You know, Kelly, obviously they can smell it in Providence, but we're getting reports that people could actually smell the gas leak as far away as Cranston. What is it like now? Well, Mike, it's interesting you mentioned that. You know, when we got on scene, certain pockets, certain areas we were in, we could smell it. But um, Commissioner Perry even mentioned the wind is actually helping in this area because it's blowing the gas away. Otherwise, it would just be stagnant in the air. So right now where we are, we don't really smell anything, but based on the wind direction, we don't know which way it's going. But right where we are in this area, we don't smell anything. It could be taking it in some other direction, and that's why other people might be smelling it in other parts. Uh, uh, away from East Providence, as you mentioned, but uh, right now we don't smell anything. It's just uh, they're just trying to keep people away, keep this area secure until they can figure out what the problem is, get it fixed, and then sometime at some point reopen it. We're just not sure when that's going to be. Mike Shannon. All right, Kelly Sullivan, and she's going to stay on the scene all night giving us updates. Now, as for the safety concerns tonight, we're told that officers have blocked Route 195, surrounding streets, rerouting traffic, as Kelly mentioned. And with more on that, because we've told you it's created a mess, Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has the latest on the driving conditions along 195. Caroline, what can you tell us? Well, Shannon and Mike, I am here on South Water Street and Point Street. What I can tell you right now is that I just spoke with Providence Police. They're telling me they have two hubs set up right now, one in this area of Providence, another hub set up in East Providence as they're diverting traffic that in various areas, as we said, 195 is shut down in both directions tonight, but we have plenty of other closures to tell you about. Allen's Avenue from O'Connell to Point Street, Eddy Street from Public Street to Allen's Avenue, Black Street and Public Street are closed in Entirely. 95 North and South have no access to the bridge to get over to East Providence and the Point Street Bridge, which we are standing right next to right now, is close to westbound traffic and it looks like they may be attempting to close it, close it to eastbound traffic as well. Now, obviously, this is causing a lot of traffic headaches and delays. We caught up with someone earlier tonight who sat in that traffic. Here's a listen at what he told us. Oh, well, it's supposed to be a uh, good 12 minute ride and ended up taking a half an hour because we got stopped right in Rumford and then we got diverted off 
at, uh, at the Broadway exit and then had to take the Henderson Bridge to get all the way over here because they weren't allowing any access otherwise. So it's kind of it's where I am now. Now, speaking of that Henderson Bridge, if you want to get from Providence to East Providence tonight, obviously you're not going to be taking 195. You can go through the east side of Providence and take the Henderson Bridge through Waterman Street over to East Providence right now. But a lot of this area is backed up. Police told me when they first got on scene, this was just an absolute gridlock. Things have started to lighten up near Point Street. But again, there are a lot of closures to tell you about tonight. Stay with us for the latest developments on that. Shannon and Mike. Caroline, of course, we think about the hospitals that you see right off the highway there. What about all of these rescue vehicles that have to get to where they're going? How are police diverting them or making sure that they can get to the hospitals? Well, Shannon, that's a great question. Actually, we've seen a lot of that tonight here on this stretch of Point Street. Police are blocking off the Point Street Bridge and the areas around that, but they are allowing National Grid, different fire trucks come through, ambulance come through. So any emergency vehicles are getting around this area tonight. It's just if you're out and driving around in your own car, you're not going to get through the area tonight. So police are urging you to stay home and to not be out driving because, as we said, a lot of these areas in downtown Providence and over in East Providence, they're just shut down for the time being. All right, that's Caroline Goggin live. She's going to be there all night long. So, so far, this is what we know about the leak. National Grid is telling us that around 813 tonight, there were reports of a gas leak. The uh, Allens Avenue uh, Road and exits and 195 have been shut down. Underground ruptured and leak. It came from the compressor station at National Grid. Yeah, they actually call it a take station. That's where they take high pressure gas and reduce the pressure to the point where it can be routed out to consumers. They know that the leak is in a pipe, but they're trying to find what pipe that leak is coming from. As Kelly said, they're on scene working to do that right now. Uh, we did ask if there's any sort of ignition threat, because that's, of course, what you think of when you think of a big gas leak. Uh, all they're saying right now is that they're just trying to make the area safe, which is obviously why they've taken the drastic move of, of shutting down 195 in and, both directions. And originally people were saying they heard explosions. The explosions were the gas leak that they could hear. So there have been no injuries reported so far, and we're going to stay obviously on top of this as uh, Allens Avenue 195 and surrounding roads remain closed. And please stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this gas leak in the capital city. I'm going to bring you updates as we get them tonight, and be sure to tune in to Eyewitness News this morning morning and uh, also on WPRI 12 at 11 o'clock. Now tomorrow morning traffic reporter Melissa Sardelli will be here keeping a close eye on your morning commute.